photo taking, success driven, business owning mother and grandmother would love to walk you through the wins, the losses, the ups and the downs. We will focus on the real things that will help you meet and achieve your goals while sharing and cheering on others who are with the quest to do the same. Let's get started. Hi guys, it's Wendy Shields with She's a Goal Setter. Um, today we're going to interview someone and I just kind of want to explain to you why I do the interviews. I feel like the interviews are kind of like reading a book. Like even if the topic doesn't completely pertain to me, I normally, if I'm open to it, find something in life that could help me, you know, something, pick up one little tidbit of something. And um, so these, these interviews are the same idea. These interviews, you may not be interested in being a beautician. You may not be interested in being an apparel line owner. You may not be interested in being a plumber, but I'm just saying there may be something in their story that can help you and propel you in your own story. Um, even if it's just, you know what, being inspired by, look, this single mom did this or, or this man who was bankrupt and had nothing and he figured it out. And if nothing else, if it says to you, these people can do this. Now, this isn't, I'm the things I'm saying don't pertain necessarily to the next video you watch, but, but they pertain to some videos. So just be open to find the reason for you in this video the the what speaks to you well enjoy the interview you guys have a nice day thanks hi i'm wendy shields with she's a goal setter and i am here today at head to toe salon with tawny birdside and she's going to tell us a little about her business and her successes Tommy, you want to tell us a little more about your business? Um, I run a uh, beauty salon and we do nails, pedicures, manicures, and hair here, um, and a little bit of eyebrow waxing, maybe a little bit of lip waxing. Um, so that's pretty much what we kind of do here. Where are you located? In Lakeview, Ohio. Lakeview, Ohio. Okay. And um, how should somebody get hold of you guys if they if they want to? Um, you can call um, either me or Danny Houchins. Um, we have switched to doing our uh, phone calls through our cell phones mm -hmm. because it's cheaper mm -hmm. and we get less phone calls for scamming. Yeah, very good. That's nice. <laughs> and it's convenient because that way you get the call. Yes, it goes directly towards um, me and Danny uh, both. That way then no miscommunication of, hey, I didn't get a hold of you or, hey, your, your phone's not working. Right, exactly. Very good, very good. Um, so, can you tell us what your definition of success is? Uh, my definition of success is uh, being able to make my own schedule, um, put people in where I can, um, and make sure that everybody's happy by the time that they leave um, and that they feel beautiful. It is our job to thrive to make them beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. That's good. Um, do you have, do you use any apps for your job then? Yes, we use Facebook, um, Google, and Instagram. Okay, what like how do you use those? Um, we put uh, all of our pictures of like anything that we do, we upload them and put it on there. So in that way, then when people Google, Google is our biggest one. Okay. Um, I just had four new clients in the past from last week to this week. And um, they have all told me that they are using Google. They're plugging in uh, nail salons, and ours comes right up. Oh, wonderful. That's great. That's great. Um, so um, are your goals then for your business, do you keep those in writing? Um, I don't. Uh, I used to, but because of um, opening the salon about almost three years ago, and uh, doing nails for 18 years so I just kind of run them down through my head yeah I should put them down on paper. that's good that's good so you've been doing nails for 18 years yeah that's wonderful that's great um let's see um 
So how do you track your schedule? Um, I keep an actual book um, that... A physical book. Yes, an, an actual book. Um, we used to do it online and that just got too complicated because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sometimes the computer would crash. Oh, well, that, that would be an issue then, yeah. Um, what were your biggest challenges with starting your business? Um, I took the leap. Um, I used to work for people mm -hmm. um, in the past and then taking the leap, um, it was a costly leap. Um, mm -hmm. uh, trying to find plumbers, trying to find electricians and the cost of it starting up the business. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle, but I just went ahead and took the leap because I believed in myself. My mom and my dad was my biggest, biggest supporters. Oh, that's wonderful. So, that is wonderful. And I know you have quite a few kids and stuff at home, so you had a lot of other responsibilities outside yes. of this to, to, to balance everything out. So, um, let's see. Um, what sacrifices do you feel like you made to achieve this goal? Um, I put more of my time into the business and I get less time at home. I only get, by the time I get off of work, um, it, I only have like maybe roughly a couple hours before we eat and then send them to bed. Mm -hmm. So I sacrifice spending time with my kids during the week. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. I definitely did that when my kids were growing up too. I understand that. Um, what do you do when you're losing consistency? Try and uh, advertise. advertise. Um, so normally I take pictures of all of my nail designs. Um, if I, even if it's not nail designs, uh, pedicures. Um, we Danny takes pictures of all of her hair um, before and afters, and we just post it on Facebook, um, Instagram, or Google to try and drum up some business. Okay. Okay. I understand. I see. Um, what do, let's see, oops, how long is your average work day? Um, depends on the day, some days it's maybe, uh, I might have four people starting at nine o'clock until probably five, um, some people I will come in at eight and work till almost eight o'clock, nine o'clock, so it just kind of depends on how many people I put in my work day. Oh, okay, I see, so you can you know, kind of work it for your family however works best, that's, yes. that's, that's a great benefit, that is. Um, is that what you would find to be the, well, or what, it, what do you find to be the most rewarding about this job? Um, being able to see the, I'm kind of a mix between a nail technician and a therapist. So, um, <laughs> yes. when somebody comes in and they have a really rough day and I give them, uh, nail art, for example, um, and they smile by the time that they leave and they're constantly looking at their fingernails and they compliment me and they yes. smile from yes. here to going and leaving. And I personally rather have my clients take pictures of their fingernails and uh -huh. post them on our website uh -huh. because then I know that they're totally satisfied. And Absolutely. the comments that come in with that is just the re most rewarding. That's great. That's great. That is feeling good about your job. That's wonderful. Um, would you, um, do you see this always being part of your business? Yes, I do. Is there anything you would do differently? No. Um, I wish I had a bigger sign out front. <laughs> <laughs> but the day could come. <laughs> we work towards that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, that, there again, that would come with the goals of writing things down. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, just basically, just keep doing what we're doing and um, hope that one day we'll, you know, people will actually know where we're at. That's right. been the kind of the, it's not really a complaint, but most oh, people yeah. are like, oh, I didn't know you. Because you are behind another business. And yeah. what business are you behind? The uh, barber shop. Okay, H okay, so if anybody's barbershop. looking for you, that would be. You know, you look there, and and then again, they could probably find you on Facebook, correct? Yes. Okay. And, um, when you go on to Facebook or Google, um, it shows the directions of exactly my location. Okay. Very good. Very good. Well, thank you very much for taking time to have an interview with us, and it's thank nice you. to see you. Bye bye. Bye. Hey guys, um, just wanted to ask you guys for a favor. Um, to please subscribe to my channel, 
I used to think that subscribing, like you had to like get a subscription or pay for something or something, but actually subscribing on YouTube is like um, friending on Facebook or it's like following on Instagram. So there's no cost to you, but there's a really great benefit to the person that has a channel. There are certain options that they're just aren't available to until they have so many subscribers. So I would definitely consider it an act of friendship if you would not mind subscribing. It doesn't bother you. It just kind of sends the, it does when your feed, when you open your feed up, you'll see that as some options to watch, but it doesn't pester you or do anything like that. So please subscribe. I'm going to quickly show you how right now. And here we are at the She is a Goal Setter show. And right below it, to the right, right below it, there's a button, a red button that says subscribe. You just simply push that. And ta-da, you're subscribed. Thank you, thank you. We're done? Seriously? All that work and we're done? I guess we'll see you next week. Oh, yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.